Buenos dias, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these easy, healthy, nutritious breakfast meals. If you want to know how to make all of these, please keep on watching. Okay, so we are starting with the first recipe, which will be these cute little egg white muffins with veggies. First, you're going to need to get all your favorite veggies. Anything you would add to an omelet. So here I have some spinach, onion, baked or roasted butternut squash, baked sweet potato and zucchini. And of course, you're going to need a lot of huevos to make all of these recipes, so be prepared. I'm going to add some turkey bacon so for a little bit more protein. All right, so let's get started. First, you want something to mix everything in. <clears throat> I like this one because it has like this little thing so I can pour it into the oven tins. I'm gonna use one whole egg and about four egg whites. The reason why I'm only adding one yolk is because if you didn't know, most of the calories in the neck is in the yolk. 17 or 20 calories are from the egg white and the egg yolk holds the rest of the calories which an egg is usually around 70 calories. So here we got four egg whites and one egg. Now we're gonna mix everything. Then we're gonna start to add our veggies. You can use whatever veggies you like. And I'm gonna add some turkey bacon. We're gonna add a little bit of salt just because we're gonna add um, another topping at the end. We don't want it, them to be too salty. And we're just gonna pour everything. I'm just gonna spray a tiny bit of olive oil spray. And here they are. Make sure they all get the same amount of egg mixture. Now, this is also optional. I'm gonna add some of this reduced fat feta cheese. You can use cheddar cheese, whatever cheese you like, or you don't have to add cheese. But it just adds a little bit more flavor. Just a tiny bit in each. I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's seasoning, with, which I'm obsessed with, and I always add to my egg whites. I have avocado toast, it's just bomb. If you haven't tried it, please go. And we are ready to put them in the oven for about 20-15 minutes at 350 degrees. If you didn't know, you can also microwave these and I've done it before and they turn out perfect. So I'm going to put them in the oven and I'll show you guys and tell you guys about the macros at the end. Here are our breakfast egg white muffins. These are so so good with avocado, with sriracha, whatever you want to add on the go. You can also freeze them, double the recipe and just heat them up whenever you're ready to eat. And this is helpful for meal prepping. I'm gonna add the macros here on the screen. So, so good, high protein, low fat, low carb. Okay, so our next recipe is these blueberry oatmeal muffins. Have a cup of oatmeal. I'm gonna add one scoop of Quest vanilla protein. You can use any protein of your choice. One scoop, about half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna add some pumpkin spice. Um, I would love to add cinnamon, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna substitute it with pumpkin spice. We are going to mix everything very good before we add any of our wet ingredients. We're gonna add one whole egg. And about half a cup of vanilla unsweetened almond milk. If you use a different protein, you might need to eat add less just because Quest is a little bit thicker and it requires more liquid. You don't really need to add any sweetener at this point because the protein has some sweetener. Um, you can add a mashed banana if you like or stevia. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay, so this is the type of consistency you want. You don't want it too thick or too runny. So now we can add any toppings we want. I want to add some blueberries. You can add some sliced almonds, any fruit you like. And now we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes and your house smelling amazing, this is what you get. 
These are so perfect on the go, pre-workout, post-workout. They have the perfect amount of complex carbs, which is the oatmeal, and then some protein. I like to eat them with peanut butter to add a little bit of healthy fats. So good. So here's another perfect recipe. These are called overnight oats, and let me show you how I like to make these. So the way I like to make mine, I start with oatmeal of course. I'm just using one third of a cup. You can use as much as you like depending on your calories and macros. So now we are going to add some sweetener. I'm going to use these Skinny Girl Organic Stevia. Again, I like to mix the dry ingredients before I add anything else. And then I want to make these peanut butter inspired so to avoid a higher fat breakfast, I'm just going to add some peanut butter powder. Or you can use PB2, basically it's just peanut butter made into powder. You just mix with water and then you get that flavor of peanut butter and the calories are half of regular peanut butter or less than half actually. So two tablespoons, 50 calories, 1.5 fat, four carb and five protein. And you know, a regular peanut butter, two tablespoons is like 200 calories. So we're gonna add just a little bit, maybe one tablespoon. And at this point, you can honestly add whatever you want. You can add like half a scoop of protein, whatever macros you are trying to hit that day. Now we're gonna add one fourth cup of unsweetened almond milk, one fourth cup of plain Greek yogurt. This is just gonna add a little bit more creaminess and more protein. Actually, I might need to add a little bit more milk. So I added a little more milk, which ended up being about one third a cup of, or you can use half a cup. Again, depending on the consistency that you want. So now you're just gonna close it and literally leave it in your fridge overnight. Next morning, you'll get something like this. You just add whatever toppings you like, or you can actually add them before you put them in the fridge. I added some blackberries, raspberries, and some sliced almonds. And you can take it to work, to school, anywhere you like. This is a perfect, breakfast our last recipe are these two of my favorite breakfasts of all time flourless protein pancakes these are lower carb higher protein here i'm going to show you guys how to make this mcgriddle or a healthy version of a mcgriddle if you want to know how to make these please keep on watching first we are going to need oat flour we're not going to use actual flour to make these pancakes we're going to use oat flour which basically you just add some oats into a blender and blend until it looks like flour As you can see, now it looks like flour. So, I like to add it into a jar, just so I can use it whenever I wanna make some pancakes or muffins or anything, just so I have it ready and I don't have to make it every time I'm gonna bake. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oat flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, and two tablespoons of some protein. and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm gonna add one egg white. And I'm adding half a cup of water. You can add almond milk, I'm just gonna use water. Your batter should be a little thick because of the coconut flour and the protein. So don't worry about it, it should look like this. Now we're gonna cook them as you would cook regular pancakes. These cook very quick, so make sure you don't burn them. They're probably ready like in 45 seconds on each side. I'm gonna make some more. Here they are guys, I got five little pancakes. You can double the recipe if you wanna make more. You can actually freeze these and just pop them into the toaster and they are perfect. They taste just as amazing. I like to use this Waldemar zero calorie syrup. I'm gonna add some fat-free whipped cream. This is only like five calories for two tablespoons. Not bad. And some raspberries. I'm gonna add the macros here in this green. These are just so good. I love to eat these post-workout or at nighttime. Okay, so I'm just gonna use two of the pancakes that I just used for that recipe I just showed you guys. 
Here I have a one egg that I literally just cook in the microwave. Just crack an egg white in a bowl and season it. So we're gonna add it to our sandwich. They use sausage for their sandwich. I'm just gonna use turkey bacon and some cheese. This is 2% American cheese. And we're gonna top it off with our pancake. And this is my perfect healthier version McGriddle and it honestly satisfied me so much. I'm just gonna top it off with some pancake syrup so it can have that savory sweet taste. And I also just wanted to share with you guys the calories and macros for the McDonald's McGriddle. 18 grams of fat, 45 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to give you guys some ideas. These are so perfect on the go for meal prep or just to keep you on track. So here you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please give this a like if you liked it and it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.